What's up, everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to welcome you back to the 30 days of Halloween. And we have brought back my favorite creature of all, Mr. Mumbo Raz. Oh, yes. What? What the hell? <laughs> <In the dark. laughs> so today, we are talking about Nosferatu. The classic 1929 silent film about Nosferatu, which is basically the story of Dracula, which is just an awesome story and very cool. It was really interesting to watch a silent film, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like I'm like, oh, yes, I've seen plenty of silent films. Yes. <laughs> no, I've never seen a silent film. And... It was interesting. So silent film, you don't really, you know, think of it because of the name silent film, but it, it has music throughout it. Throughout yep. the whole thing, there's music. And the, the music for Nosferatu was, it was awesome. You know, it's like a symphony orchestra. Yeah, definitely the, the organ. Vibe. Yeah, like the organ playing and all the classic, like creepy melodies of the, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s. Really cool. What'd you think about it? Um, I, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. Like, like you said, talking about the the music, I felt like even some of the basic scenes, like there's a part where like the guy's going to see his girl and he like blinks her flowers, and just the vibe of just that innocent thing, just it seems so creepy to me because you got that creepy music, like just the way that they they walk because of the times and stuff. I'm like, it's really creepy, you know? Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Like like two two of the scenes with Nosferatu. Mm -hmm. He's just like, they really like, even though it's that old and, you know, there's, there's a lot of cheesiness to it because they hadn't developed, you know, everything yet. Yeah. But, uh, man, Nosferatu was creepy. It, he, he, he was creepy. It. And he he had these long, like, claws. You know what? He, he really, he kind of walked and acted like a very creepy big bird. Like, he, he acted like one of those birds of prey that stalks you. He's very, I thought it was really cool. He was very animalistic, which is... Yeah. I think they lost that over time with uh, vampire movies. Uh, they make them so human. They're just basically humans with more powers and they drink blood. But in classic literature, they were depicted as animals. Like, they, they, they you, when you would see them, you'd get more of a vibe that this is like some, some animal yeah. that was after you. Not, not, a, it didn't, you know, it was resembled a human, but generally it was known as like this animal, like a vampire. It's a different species entirely. Yeah. So I thought they did a really good job at that. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool how they kept referencing them not as, like, vampires or creatures of the night or anything that, like, you or I would be used to. They worded them as phantoms, so they kept telling the kid, you don't want to go to Transylvania. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's phantoms there. And I just thought that was wild, like, because you see Nosferatu, and his, his eyes are just like this, and he's just like, oh, let's yeah. sit down for a while. Like, just so, like you said, just so creepy, like, not normal at all like you see um va uh, vampire movies now and they they a lot of times they fool you like all right this is a normal guy whatever he's rich or all right he's a little eccentric this was like no this is like really creepy and you, you know what else in, in um newer vampire movies they just i feel like they've just like lost a lot and 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 uh I, i'm a huge vampire movie fan i I've, I've seen the the vast majority of them and um i think they've lost sort of the traditional vampire style, like how a vampire should be. And I, you know, I got a big reminder watching this movie. It was like, yeah, he, he looked like this creepy, like bird, like dark bird stalking his prey. He did the way he looked at him. And like, he was like very not human. And I thought, I was like, man, this is like, you know, it was silent. So it's not like, you know, I'm not going to say if, you know, if you don't think you'd like a silent film, you're probably right. Because it's you know it's a lot different. If you grew up with movies in the eighties, nineties, today, it's just it's just com it's a completely different ball game. But I would say it is an awesome film, and they, they did a great job with the music overall, and, and the vibe, the lighting. It was really really interesting to see how they made movies back then, you know, and how yeah. it's aged. I, I have to laugh. Like there was there was certain parts where like like if you've ever seen Nosferatu, they have like like the so called night scenes. 
I was I was asking Nick and something like, is this is this daytime? Like to me, it looks like daytime because it's like the the guys looking out the window, or whatever. They're outside and it's just like blinding light, white in the sky. And that's just that that was just they pretty much had to use their imagination. Like this is nighttime, even though it's really yeah. white. Yeah, it would I'm tell like, you. Okay. It would tell you within <laughs> that you know the the script, which is yeah. the dialogue in that movie. But uh, overall, I'd say I'm really glad that we got to watch it and to, exactly. to yeah. experience it. And it was, you know, it was interesting because uh, you, you've never seen a silent film either, right? No. Nope. So it was like an experience. And I have to say it was overall a good experience. It was more engaging than I, I had thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like, oh, this is going to be real hard to follow. And granted, like I did check my phone a little bit more than a normal movie. But, you know, it, when, when I went back to the movie, I stayed engaged. And, and whenever, whenever I have this thing about horror movies. So if it's Michael Myers or now Nosferatu is whenever one of them is on the screen, there's no talking and there's no phone. Like, I, I'm completely focused on the main villain. Sometimes I'll, I'll I'll drift away a little bit if there's, like, some fluff scene. But, like, it, if the main character, like Nosferatu and Michael Myers, is on the screen, man, it's like, they, that's the whole movie. Yep. You know, they're, they, they, like, intoxicate you with their creepy, dark ways, you know? And I thought Nosferatu was a, a good example of that. And, yeah, overall, that movie... The movie was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think I was going to I was going to be able to finish it. Yeah. Um, so I, I I thought it was pretty wild. Like there was a part where um, I think it looked like I couldn't tell. Like it looked like Nosferatu was just asleep. Mm -hmm. So he's just laying there like this, you know, like a vampire usually would, like you know, hand hand over hand, all that jazz. Right. And it looked like he was looking like right at the guy. The guy goes in. He's just like, oh my god, and he's just sitting there all creepily. And like in my mind, I'm like. Is he like looking at him, or is he asleep with his eyes open? Like he, he, you couldn't tell given the technology, but it's just like even if he's asleep, he looks creepy as hell. And then he like, you know, the guy's just like, regardless, I'm shutting the door. This is scary. Yeah. And yeah. then the guy just kind of slowly walks in, like. Oh, he did. Oh, that actor was so like, good hey, at playing I saw that part. You, uh, looking at me when I was asleep. They did, they did that movie. I'll give it credit. It was definitely ahead of its time. Overall, yeah. I would say. Two thumbs up for a Halloween movie. I think, uh, assuming that's that's my perspective. As for the average, you know, if, if you're part of the younger audience who watches the videos, it might be really hard, especially all the social media and how movies have gotten so intense. It might be hard to follow, but I, I still recommend it. I think it's good to see a part of history. And one of my favorite movies, top three favorite movie, is uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula with Gary Oldman. Yeah. And, and this is the same story, essentially. It's played out a little differently, but it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. So... To see the origin was was super cool of my oh, favorite absolutely. movie. You know that, that that's you know one of my top three favorite movies. It's a favorite movie. So, yeah. Overall, I, th I thought it was an awesome addition to the Thirty Days of Halloween. What would you say? How'd you like it overall? I, I honestly, I thought it was great. Like, was. I gotta say, like one of the selling points. If I had to be like th this, be like one of the reasons to check it out. I loved how um, Nosferatu is like he's sitting there and he's looking at the guy's wife as he's about to shot. Is about to sign the papers to move into their neighborhood because he's, he's rich or whatever. So he's signing the papers and he's like, Is this your wife? Oh, what you're a so lovely wife. throat. And I'm just <laughs> like, Dude, that is, that, that's awesome. This dude just straight out calls out his wife. Yeah. He's like, Man, she's got a nice throat, dude. Like, you know, you don't see that <laughs> nowadays. Like, uh, the vampire be like, Oh, she's really attractive. You know, like they cover it up, like, Oh, she's really attractive. She's, you know, they, where like that, they wouldn't be like, oh, she's got a nice neck. I can't wait to go bite her. Yeah, that, you know? that's what was cool. Is like the, you get the olden times, how they talked in olden times. Yeah. How they spoke, I should say. But yeah, overall, we both give it a, a high recommendation for the Halloween season. I just want to thank you all for coming back to the 30 Days of Halloween. I want to thank Mumble Raz for coming out. You'll see this guy again, as usual. Again, my favorite Halloween creature, Mumbo Raz. <laughs> and we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ha 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 ha.
Ah.